Welcome to St. Paul's Episcopal Church on this first Sunday after Christmas. We're so glad that you've found us here on the web and invite you to find more resources, services, and music and classes uh, as you explore this virtual space. Today at our service, we have a special guest, the presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church and his Christmas message. So I pray that will be a blessing for you today. And uh, in this season, as we are uh, still exulting in the good news of Christmas, may God bless you throughout these 12 days. Merry Christmas. Blessed is the one who has come to live among us. God be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light, enkindled in our hearts, may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation, and he has covered me with a robe of righteousness. As a 
bridegroom decks himself with garland, and the bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the vindication shines out like the dawn and the salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication and the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord, as a royal diadem in the hand of your God. This is God's promise. from the Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. 
He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born, not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son who is close to the Father's heart who has made him known. This is the good news of God with us. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. Perhaps like me, you've sung this hymn for years in church, at home, with your family, gathered with friends and neighbors. Perhaps you've sung it to yourself in your car on a walk or quietly in the dark of night. Joy to the world. While we may not feel joyful this year, as the pandemic of disease continues to bring sickness and death, when fear and mistrust, a darkness, threatens to overcome the light, we, as followers of Jesus Christ, must bear joy to this aching world. We must shine light into the darkness. Joy to the world. Like much in our lives, Proclaiming joy is difficult work, also good and essential work, especially now. Though we mourn that which is lost in our lives, our families, and our communities, joy to the world. While we strive to pull up the twisted and thorny vines of hatred and bigotry and anger, joy to the world. Through streaming tears and gritted teeth, joy to the world because God is breaking into our lives and into this world anew. While this is a strange year, the ministry he gives us remains the same. We will prepare him room in our hearts by taking on the ministry Jesus demands of us. Feed those who are hungry. Welcome the stranger. Clothe those who are naked. Heal those who are sick. Visit the prisoner. Love God. Love your neighbor, sing joy into this old world, prepare him room. St. Luke writes of the first Christmas, Mary gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There, in the simplest bed, in the cool of the night, in a trough in bands of cloth, lies the one for whom no room was made. And yet, strangely, there lives the one whom not even the universe can contain. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. In your hearts, in your homes, in your lives, prepare him room. God love you. God bless you. And may God hold us all in those almighty hands of love.
Loving God, you come to live among us. We pray to you with open and grateful hearts. We pray for the church just as God comes to us in Jesus. We may carry the good news of your love to the world. In your love, O God, shine shine through through your your followers. followers. We pray for leaders everywhere that they may bring peace out of conflict and care for the poor. In your wisdom, O God, give give us us your peace. peace. We pray for those who are suffering this Christmas, for those who are inflicted with illness and disease, especially those suffering with COVID-19. Visit them with your healing power and comforting presence. In your mercy, O God, hear Hear those those who who cry cry out to you. you. We pray for doctors and nurses and all who minister to those suffering and alone, for all those who are in danger, who are exhausted and yet show up to serve. In your power, O God, give Give them them your strength strength and protection. protection. Remember those who have died. Receive them into your loving arms and comfort all who's mourned deeply in this holy season. We pray especially for those in our community, the Hinkson family, Susan Lawson, Dylan Toma, Vili Young, Bonafshesh, Laura Cope, Charles Vaughn, John and Arlene Borgeson, Nate Price, Alan Mulliken, Michelle Blair, Nan Kusulos, Tom Bryce, Renee and Bern Kim, Wally Clevisal, Jim Prescott, the Murdoff family, especially Charlotte, Michelle Sloat, Mark DiCiocio. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, one holy triune God. Amen. And now, let us all pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
the Word is made flesh and is dwelling among us. Let us rejoice and be glad in this. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace to spread the good news of God with us.